Just wanted to show you, I found this painting after a long, long time. Two years ago I had done this one. My friend Susan came to visit. We had this sketch available up in my Etsy shop, which it's not anymore, but what I had done was to uh, play with it is I had printed it out on the acetate paper and then had uh, had the sketch printed out and then what I did is I flipped it and used it on painted on the reverse side as not to mess up the sketch lines from the you know the printer and I have a laser jet now I don't know, I mean I have an inkjet sorry I don't know how it works with laser so you just take it put this in your printer and it prints out and then what I did was I used H2O's and painted very wet and I just had to fix some of it because over the two years that it was away it kind of lost some of it flaked off so you really have to seal it and then frame it if you do this but I thought this was a a nice technique to share with you again and what I'll do is I will put the link in here up at the top and at the end to this video if you want to go check it out it was really a lot of fun to do and my friend loves geishas so Susan Carmike I, I can put the link to her Facebook page she doesn't have a fan page but she does have a regular uh, Facebook page if you're interested in seeing uh, some of her artwork really beautiful so um, this worked out so nice so I wanted to share with you and then as I when I took it off the board it was on and packed with this board I put other colors behind I thought wow you don't have to have the white you can put other colors. I really like that one, though. I really like that color. But this, I'm using my pastel papers in the back so you could see the different colors. And just pretty. That one has like a pinkish tint to it. Um, grayish. And this one's a gray. Really nice. So when you do it on the acetate, you, you know, you can use different backgrounds. And then you can leave more spaces in it so that the background comes through. I just went over it a lot because like I said it it lost a lot, it flaked off so make sure that you spray it, seal it, whatever you're going to do to it and then I would suggest putting it behind um, a glass. So I'm going to frame this, I got to get a frame for this and frame it so this way um, I don't lose it first of all again and this way I can look at it and enjoy it. So I just wanted to show, now I'll put that link so you can watch how I did this. This was a great technique that I never showed again. I don't believe I did on a video. So that video shows it and I think it's worthwhile if you want to try this to watch the video. So I love you guys and thank you again for being here. This was a short, hopefully sweet and with a cool information and a new technique. And if you've done this before, let me know. Okay, love to hear your comments. See you next time. Bye-bye. Well, I was just playing with it on my computer, and you can see, like, I did this hazy background to it. You can use your own uh, photos for the background or any papers that you have, cool stuff. But, it, you know, leave more spaces where you can actually have more of the paper showing through and I love the black yeah the black this is really cool too and then also I had a photograph of a pretty rose that I had taken from my house in North Carolina so I stuck it on that too just to see what that would look like just to get an idea and yeah it's like you can really do some fun stuff I hope you enjoy this and I hope you go watch that video it's it's uh, really fun and gives you a lot of information Thank you.